In the last video, I showed how the density explanation does not make sense in explaining why objects fall to the ground. The main focus was asking why objects fall down as opposed to some other direction, why they fall through the more dense air below them rather than the less dense air above them, why objects still fall at the usual rate of 9.8 meters per second squared even when there is no atmosphere at all, like inside a vacuum chamber, and why high altitude jumpers continue to accelerate after they jump even though they are moving through more and more dense atmosphere. An external force acting on these objects makes perfect sense. There's a link to it in the description or you can click on the end screen box at the end of the video. With this video, we're going to talk about some of the other things that don't work. Although those points are enough to show that the density explanation doesn't work, there are plenty more questions to be asked. At the beginning of that video, I showed this density chart. The air gets less dense as you go higher. This fact is not refuted or even disputed by flat earthers. But the question is never answered or even asked. Why does the atmosphere get less dense as you go higher? Why is almost all of the Earth's atmosphere compressed into the lower 10 miles? Why would this happen if there was not an external force pulling the atmosphere towards the Earth, compressing it onto the surface? Gravity explains this quite nicely. Density does not. Why does the water pressure increase the deeper you go underwater? In other words, why should it matter how much water is above you if there is nothing pushing that top water down onto the bottom water? The water is all the same density to begin with, so why does the pressure increase at the bottom as you add more water? If the top water was not being pushed down onto the bottom water, the pressure would all be the same and you could walk across the bottom of the ocean. Obviously, this is not possible. Again, this is perfectly explained by gravity, but not by density. <laughs> if the density of an object in relation to the surrounding atmosphere was the cause of things pushing down towards the Earth, the weight of the object, then the object would gain weight when it went to the top of a tall mountain, since the relative density of the surrounding atmosphere is considerably less. This does not happen, though. In fact, the opposite happens. At very high altitudes, your weight is an extremely tiny bit less due to the fact that you are now slightly farther away from the Earth's center of gravity. I guess flat earthers are starting to accept that density is not working out, so they have started to come up with some other options, such as electromagnetism. Anything except the simple and easily observed gravity, right? We'll get to that in a future video, but let's just say that even the strongest magnets in the world cannot attract a bird's feather. And the Earth's magnetic field is so weak that it can barely move the tiny needle on a compass. So how can it keep you on the ground? And if it was strong enough to attract a bird's feather, then it would be absolutely impossible to lift anything made of iron off the ground. 